In 2024, we're used to seeing crisp thermal footage like you're seeing right now, but it didn't always used to be like that. I mean, even 10 years ago, one of the best thermals you could get would look something like a 384 core thermal does now. And that was if you could even afford to get your hands on it. So where are we at now? Did we reach the point of diminishing returns or has the innovation only just begun? If so, where is it going? Let's talk about it. From the beginning of thermal technology up until 2020, there was a lot of status quo, no need for improvement across the board in the commercial thermal industry. This created a market in the United States where only a few could thrive in if they had the technology cornered either here in the States or overseas. Even 10 years ago, there were 640 by 480 sensors. The image quality out of those 640 by 480 sensors was similar to that of 384 core units today. The biggest thing that's changed throughout history is the software. The software that's receiving the data and running these thermals. We are at a point now where they can no longer improve the image with software alone. So naturally, an increase in sensor resolution was needed to keep advancements in thermal technology moving. At this point, the commercial thermal market is changing and evolving rapidly in the United States. Part of what drove this is everyday citizens getting into thermal. With so many people buying into this technology to see in the dark, it created an environment ripe for advancements in technology and business in general. Here at Arcane, we want to help equip modern citizens with modern gear. From backpacks to body armor to gun cleaning accessories and everything in between, jump over to our site and see how we can help you become more defiantly free. It all started when IRA USA walked into the scene in 2020 pushing Infra Outdoor products. Infra is a registered trademark owned by Raytron Technology Co. They're based in China. Raytron, or better known as Infra, has a big research and development team consisting of more than 2,400 employees. They almost solely focus on thermal sensor technology and advancements for more than just their brand. If you're observant and you look closely across the thermal industry, you will begin to notice similarities from a lot of different newer companies and how it appears that they could be coming from the same place, Raytron or Infra. Here in the US in 2023, we watched IRA USA bring a major technological advancement to the table which was a weapons-mounted 1280-core thermal unit. That particular thermal sensor technology was actually released back in 2018 by Infra. But Infra hasn't stopped there. In 2021, they released a thermal sensor with 8 micron pixel pitch and 1920 by 1080 resolution. IRA USA works directly with Infra Outdoor or Raytron to bring these products to the market in the United States for our enjoyment. Some of the effects of these thermal advancements is the cost of older units and lower resolution units in general is going to get driven down. People used to always expect to be able to buy a thermal, run it for a year or two, and sell it for almost what they paid for it. Those days are long gone. Thermals are now so quickly becoming outdated with the rapid tech advancements that you simply can't buy a thermal and think that it's going to maintain its value. Now, this isn't a good reason to wait to buy a device. I always suggest to buy one and run it. It will always keep working, even if there's something newer released in the next six months. The perfect example of that is my six-year-old Pulsar scanner that's still chugging along to this day. I let my kids play with this thing. I've seen this thing chucked across the room and it's still running and showing me and my kids an outdated 640 core thermal image. All that to say, this technology may be designed to be sensitive to heat signatures, but they certainly do not need to be handled 
delicately, nor should you wait another six months for the next revision of a thermal to be released. Along this thermal journey, you're going to find yourself with an outdated thermal in your hands at one point or another that you can't sell for what you bought it for. And that's okay. It's actually normal for things to reduce in value with age and use, especially an electronic device. I know you're not expecting to sell your iPhone 6 for what you bought it for, are you? Nope. It's sitting in a drawer collecting dust. And this is the new mindset that needs to be had with thermals now. So where is thermal headed, you may ask? I know it's safe to assume that the advancements will not stop. Have we reached a point now where the advancements will slow down? Will the US-based thermal companies ever catch up with infrared and how far they've pushed the industry in the last six years or so? One thing I'm sure we will see in the coming years goes just like the age old saying, a rising tide lifts all ships. Any thermal company that wants to survive is going to be forced to change now. The comfortable complacency they were also used to is gone and they will be forced to innovate or they won't survive the shifts that the thermal industry has seen. Will 1280 core thermals become common and affordable? If not right away, how long until they are affordable? Only time will tell us that at this point. What about fusion? Here at Arcane, we specialize in dual band systems, putting a thermal beside an analog night vision like a PVS-14 or similar night vision device. One thing that's certain is thermal fused with night vision is the future. As this technology advances, I'm confident that more systems will become the norm. Systems like the Jerry FB will become more and more affordable and the technology will continue to advance in the fusion direction more and more. I personally see this direction an area, one of the easiest directions of growth to be had in this nighttime oriented industry. Something I don't want you to get twisted after watching this whole video is the fact that we truly want to see more US based thermal and night vision manufacturers coming out with new things. I can assure you, the second we see a US-based company drop a product that's cutting edge with good relevant tech, we will definitely be bringing it to your attention. At this point, you've seen us primarily run Chinese manufactured thermals. And to be honest, it's because they're slightly more advanced than US manufactured thermals commonly found in the civilian market. We would love to see that change. So you're on the fence because so many of these products are Chinese. Don't be. Do you know where that iPhone in your pocket was produced? China! The Chinese have the best tech in the thermal industry, just like they have dominated the cell phone industry. Don't hate it because of its origin. You can either hate it, or you can choose to take advantage of the new technology. I choose to take advantage of it. If you found this information helpful, and you think that we could be of further assistance with your personal night vision and thermal journey, please don't hesitate to check out our site, www.arcane.com. And as always, if you want to talk to me directly or ask us anything, please feel free to email us at cs at arcane.com. And either myself or one of our customer service representatives will be answering you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.